Typical iPhone 16 we get a 6.3 OLED display with the normal iPhone 16, but regrettably, this is still going to be an LCD. In addition to being protected by ceramic shield, the iPhone 16 is going to feature a larger aspect ratio than previous year. We received the new Dynamic Island in version 2, which covers up the Face ID sensors and the 12 megapixels selfie camera. The main camera on the rear is 48 megapixels, while the ultrawide camera is 12 megapixels. It is likely coming with 8 gigs of RAM and up to 512 12 gigs of storage and is powered by the 18 chipset. Additionally, it is going to include advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. It is powered by a 3561 mAh battery with 30 watt rapid charging. It is expected to launch in September 2024 for around $850 and will, of course, ship with iOS 18. A 6.9 inch OLED display, which is regrettably another LTPS display, comes with the iPhone 16 Plus. In addition to being protected by ceramic shield, it has a higher aspect ratio than its predecessor. The new Dynamic Island covers the 12 megapixels selfie camera and facial ID sensors. The main camera on the rear is 48 megapixels, while the ultrawide camera is 12 megapixels. It is likely coming with 8 gigs of RAM and up to 512 gigs of storage, and it is powered by the 18 chipset. It has the cutting edge 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. It is powered by a 4006 mAh battery with 30 watt rapid charging. It is expected to launch in September 2024 for around $950 and, of course, comes with iOS 18. A 6.3-inch, 120Hz LTPO OLED display is now included on the iPhone 16 Pro. The new Dynamic Island covers up the 12 megapixels selfie camera and face ID sensors, and it has a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor. On the rear, there are three cameras, a 48 megapixels primary camera, a 48 maps ultrawide camera, and a 12 megapixels tetraprism camera with 5 times optical zoom. It is powered by a 3577 mAh battery and has an 18 Pro chipset, 8 gigs of RAM, and up to 1 terabyte of storage. Fast charging is still unknown, but we do anticipate certain upgrades. Of course, it also has the cutting edge 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7 standards. It is expected to launch in September 2024 for roughly $1,100 and will, of course, come with iOS 18. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said, let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here, please subscribe. Peace out.